Hello everyone I hope you all are doing well so for the last few days i was out of station for certain reason and that's why i was unable to make videos now today in this video i am going to discuss a topic which many of you have asked me uh, about the subjective questions which are asked in jejebels exam now previously there were no subjective questions in the jejebels exam you have to answer only the mcqs and you can qualify the exam but from the last year there was introduction of this new subjective sections where you have to answer three questions two of them will be compulsory and for one questions might be there will be alternative and you have to answer any one of them and you have to answer total of three questions now in this video i will be discussing about the question asked in the last year i will be discussing about few sample questions and certain topics which you should learn uh, but one thing to mention the questions are not informative they are uh, general knowledge based questions or general awareness you, you will get to learn about that but if you incorporate these certain topics in your answer uh, the examiner might uh, find it more interesting that's why i will be discussing certain topics now uh, in the last of the video i will give you certain additional tips which you should follow uh, to qualify the exam now let's start the video first of all in the jejebels 2025 last year there were few questions asked but as far as i can remember these four questions were there first of all why you want to do a phd secondly uh, design an experiment to test a biological hypothesis now there was no mention of which kind of experiment but uh, you have to mention a general experiment uh, to test a certain hypothesis uh, now which i mentioned in as my answer uh, about the expression of a certain gene uh, uh, first of all i will give a hypothesis that a particular protein is either over expressed or down regulated in certain disease and i will check the expression profile of that genes and uh, ultimately i will get the result and uh, give a conclusion now another question was there uh, if artificial intelligence is good or bad for society uh, for science uh, you have to give reason why it is good why it is bad and uh another question was what is the difference between natural disaster and man made disaster like natural disaster like tsunami or earthquake uh, man made disaster like uh, atomic explosion like chernobyl explosion bhopal gas tragedy uh these kind of things now you have to think right on that moment and you have to answer these questions now Uh, you need not give any kind of information or any fact but uh, you have to mention what is your thinking about this this questions now for this year uh, you have to learn certain topics uh, which you can incorporate in your answer such that the answer becomes more interesting uh, to the examiner like mrna vaccine which is a hot topic crispr cas9 which is again uh, a fundamental tool in biology a uh, modern biology uh, use of ai in biology how al alpha fold has revolutionized the um, the uh, prediction of protein structure about antibiotic research uh, i have also made a video regarding uh, how to determine the mechanism of action of a new antibiotic you can watch that video also uh, climate change biology uh, how climate change affect a certain organism how would you find that these kind of things you can uh, read before the exam such that uh, you can incorporate this knowledges in the answer of the questions now to discuss about few sample questions uh, you can just uh, uh, type these questions in any ai tool like chat gpt or gemini uh, and you will get an approximate answer but you can always modify the answer personalize your answer such that it uh, sounds more natural because if you give any kind of a general answer with uh, beautiful words 
this will not make sense this is not literature and this is science and uh, these things you have to always keep in your mind uh, make your answer your own like it should be personalized and uh, that will differentiate your answer from others so uh, what does being a scientist mean to you why you want to be a scientist uh, what is your motivation behind that uh, how would you explain the importance of basic research to someone who believes only applied research is useful like uh, you can find certain labs in uh, biological science uh, who, which works on fundamental techniques like uh, transcription biology or translation biology uh, replication mechanism of replication you can also find uh, labs which works on expression of a certain protein about cancer biology uh, about other other tools which are uh, applied biological field but the thing is without without fundamental biology there is no means of applied biology you you will apply the knowledge you gained in fundamental biology to the applied biology field so how will you con- will you convince that person now this kind of things you have to think uh, now suppose you observe an unexpected result in your experiment how wh- what would you do next first of all you have to repeat that experiment multiple times and if you are getting the same result even if it contradicts your hypothesis then you can uh, like give a new insight about new opening new result new outcome you have to think about alternate possibilities as well now how would you approach that uh, if you are given a data set that co- contradicts your hypothesis how will you respond as i have already discussed now what according to you makes research problem more interesting now if the research is against the conventional thinking against uh, the way uh, people think uh, there will be a significant result and uh, this will make the problem more interesting uh, you can make it your own you can uh, write in different ways uh, how can science contribute to building a sustainable future what do you think uh, what do you think curiosity alone is enough to be a good researcher or uh, any other quality should a researcher have now curiosity is definitely important but uh, perseverance should be there tenacity should be there there will be failures but uh, if someone gives up uh, cannot continue then research is definitely not for him uh, now this quality should be there if you could collaborate with a scientist from any field biology or beyond whom would you choose and what would you work on basically uh, what is your area of interest uh, how how much knowledge you have about that field these questions will deal with that now these sample questions you should learn now few additional tips uh, as the subjective questions you have to type uh, in the computer uh, you should have a good typing speed because uh, the three questions you have to answer uh, you will take minimum of 30 minutes or 40 minutes Uh, <clears throat> if you have a, a, a good typing speed then you can manage to answer in less time uh, so this will uh, help you Th- that's why you can practice typing for 10 minutes at least for the last one month uh, such that you can get benefited you can use any typing uh, speed test software uh, in the google and you can easily get many softwares uh but uh, one thing tackle mcqs fast uh, this is i am telling because uh, one of my friends has not attempted any of the subjective questions but he still qualified the exam the means of the subjective question is that if you are selected in tifrs like tifr from mumbai or ncbs or any other tifr they will evaluate these subjective questions but you can qualify without answering the subjective questions as well but uh, if you want to get admission in the tifrs in the reputed institutes they might evaluate these subjective questions after your qualification therefore your qualification only depends on the mcqs first of all you have to answer the mcqs if you qualify then only your subjective questions will be evaluated that's why focus mainly on mcqs you have to attempt the maximum number of mcqs you can also uh, of course with a good accuracy 
now handle physics and chemistry wisely uh, don't be panic if you are unable to answer many questions in physics and chemistry section i was also unable to answer many questions in physics section particularly but to be honest many question uh, like uh, maximum students are unable to answer many questions in physics and chemistry because they are not very easy a uh, certain few questions will be easy such that um, uh, many questions can answer that like uh, many students can answer the questions but uh, there will be few questions which are uh, difficult but don't waste too much time uh, in trying to answering that questions and the last point is keep calm during the exam now jezebel's exam uh, is not a kind of exam which will examine how much you know how much information do you have it will basically examine uh, how you think uh, what is your thinking process that's why uh, try to maintain a good accuracy but uh, this might reduce your number of question you attempt but don't attempt two less questions uh, you have to attempt attempt a certain number of questions but try to maintain a good accuracy uh, uh, finally you have to balance your answer with all the mcqs with the subjective questions and you can definitely uh, crack the exam because the cut off is very low uh, if you are scoring around 35 or so uh, you can easily uh, cross the cut off uh so the cutoff is low and all the best for your exam if you have any question you can definitely ask me in the comment section or telegram group uh, i will try to answer as soon as possible and thank you